G'day, Steve Morgan here, Fishing Monthly Magazine with Gary Honeychurch from Whitley. Uh, I haven't tested a Whitley cruiser before. I've been in a lot of Sea Legends, I've been in a lot of CWs, a lot of Whitley boats. I reckon I've done about 12. First time I've gone for a ride in one of these Whitley cruisers today. Tell us about this one, the 2380. Seems like a pretty big unit for me. The 2380 is a fantastic, fantastic family boat. Uh, great for uh, overnighting in, great for taking the family out for a day, do a little spot of fishing. Um, it's just absolute all round beautiful boat to be out in. This thing's powered by Mercury's uh, V6, 3.4 litre, 225 horsepower outboard. Just looks good on the hull and I assume it performs like the Mercury's all do there, a great power pack. Oh look, it actually it accents the, the, the colours of the Whitley. It fits it beautifully and it powers it magnificently. Um, I, th I suppose I come from the background of having tested a lot of Whitley's fishing boats. This one's going to have a lot more luxury in it than I'm used to in a testing a Whitley boat. Just run through for the guys that don't know about the Whitley cruisers, just some of the inclusions that are inside that uh, windproof clears there. Well, it, it's it's like our caravan on water, folks. It's, uh, it's set up with uh, a bed, uh, sink, stove for cooking, somewhere to store your food. In the 2380 here, we've got the... Uh, the, the fridge and an esky. Uh, of course, you've got your hot water option with your shower as well. So, uh, and not to mention your toilet flue. Keep the girls happy. It's uh, it really is like a caravan on water. And I suppose practically, if you're travelling up and down the coast, and this is eminently trailerable, you can use it like a caravan in a caravan park. Certainly can, Steve. It's uh, it's purpose built. We uh, sometimes refer to them as water bagos, as you as you yep. know. And uh, you can stay on the boat. It's uh, on, the, on land in the caravan park, as you say, or on the water at any time. Yeah. On a twin axle trailer, this is supplied. Uh, what does it weigh and what, what do you need to tow it? The, the 2380 is probably around about the 2.4 tonne that's dry, boat, motor and trailer, depending on what option you, you actually do power it with. And uh, to tow it, it's your average family off the shelf, 3.5 tonne rated vehicle, or uh, even down to your 2.5 tonne for this uh, middle of the range Whitley Cruiser. It's And it's not even pushing those limits, is it? Like I know people get a three ton boat and they put it on a three and a half ton vehicle, unaware that by the time you put all your crap in it, yep. it ends up being over. So it, it gives you a little bit of scope to, to put some gear in it and still be under the limit. Oh, certainly does. Yeah, the, the, the 2380 is that perfect size boat for your family um, tow with your 2.5 ton rated vehicle dry. Um, if you do happen to have your 3.5 tonne rated vehicle, you can put, as you say, all your crap in it and you're still easily towable. Store it at home, on the trailer uh, or in a, on, a, on a dry dock or wherever you may want to put it. But it is trailable for that reason, so take it anywhere. Tell us, take us through the standard Whitley Cruiser user. Like, is a, a weekend away is nothing for this boat? Like, what, what's, what, are they, what do they do in them? Oh, look, um, there are three three Whitley clubs across Australia in Victoria, New South Wales and Queensland and they will actually help and assist anybody who would like to buy a boat like a 2380 getting out on the water and taking you to any waterway um, across any of those states and further. So it's your average family that uh, or your, your couple with the with the dog that would get in the boat, tow it to wherever you may want to be, stay as you say in the caravan park but then be out on the water for a weekend or even longer. So. It's perfectly set up for that type of thing. Yeah, I think fishermen like me are used to roughing it. We're going to get a bit of a treat today. Uh, we're going to do what we normally do at Fishing Monthly Magazines. We're going to put this on the water and see how a boat with this much luxury performs.
So there you go, this is what Whitley's CR2380, CR meaning cruiser, looks like out on the water. It wasn't a fantastic day uh, out here on the broad water, but it was calm enough where we could sneak out the front of the Gold Coast uh, and run these boats through some rougher conditions and see what they like uh, getting across a bar in a little bit of chop as well as the sheltered conditions. And uh, first time I'd been in one of these Whitley cruiser boats. Uh, one thing I did notice was uh, I assumed that with all of the clears and the canvas coming all the way back, it'd be really dry on the inside, but it sort of drags in a little bit of mist, I suppose, that comes back. And uh, we found we were getting a little bit of salt, a uh, little bit of salt spray on the lenses. And uh, I think if you're going out there and you want to stay totally dry on a good day, I'd take nearly all of those clears off and you just have a nice free flowing, a lot of air through that boat. Or alternatively, throw all of the canvas on and it is 100% dry on the inside there. Um, but hey, what a luxurious boat compared to most of the fishing boats that we test out on the water. This uh, 2380 has features like uh, it's got a fridge inside as well as an esky, it's got a sink, it's got a stove, it's got a toilet, it's got a bed which will hold two people very easily with nice long bunks um, and it's got a really social seating arrangement. Uh, that sort of curved lounge seating on the back both has massive storage underneath it but also the front seats turn around so that you can all sit around talking to each other and that's what we all love doing you know if it's not around a boat it's in a boat. Um, we can uh, also get out on that back duckboard because that back duckboard has a, it's got the barbecue screwed onto it there it's a great place to go fishing from a great place to lean against have a beer enjoy a sunset when you're out spending overnight on one of these boats. Now this boat is probably big enough to take out mum and dad and a couple of kids and this is uh, I suppose um, you wouldn't want to go any smaller if you had a growing family, put it that way. Um, the fact that it's on that uh, twin axle trailer, it can be towed by most standard twin cab utes, ticks a big box for me because you don't need to upgrade to an F-Series truck or a Ram or something like that to tow it. So um, have a little bit of a look at the performance. Um, 4,000 RPM was the best cruising speed, doing 48 kilometres an hour, quite a high cruising speed for 1.7 kilometres per litre. Um, now with a 210 litre tank that gives you well over 300 kilometres of range, plenty enough to get into trouble on a weekend. Um, wide open throttle, 5,850 RPM with that 15 inch inertia prop on the back. The economy though suffers 940 metres per litre. So if you can handle um, going 20 kilometres an hour slower, it went 69 kilometres an hour at wide open throttle, you'll basically get twice as far for your money when it comes to fuel economy and that's pretty standard across all boats but particularly with these CR series they've got quite a big superstructure on top, fair bit of wind resistance, um, you'll find that being easy on the gas is also going to be easy on your pocket. Now what a lot of people want to uh, know is how much do these things cost, um, it's a fully featured, fully set up as tested here, you can just take your family out in it instantly. Uh, 191,460 is the list price on this. This one was uh, in the showroom at 182,990, but from uh, a little bit over $140,000, you can get a base package with a smaller motor, uh, the down spec boat and trailer, and you can build your dream cruiser from there. Like always, you can see Whitley's dealerships in the major cities, or you can visit whitley.com.au to find where your nearest dealer is.